for you especially. Okay, I got it. Car 13, out. The car for a man who is alone against the elements. The pride is back. It's the power of a compact. It looks small, but it's so big. Fuel injected. Inject me. My Batsu Thunder. On the toll road of life, you have to pay to prove you can. Live the emotion of an individual. The awesome power of nature distilled into one vehicle. Because after you get struck by lightning, there's thunder. The My Batsu Thunder. What's this I found under your bed? The only angles you're going to read is Laura Engels Wilder. If you think your child might be a red, here are some warning signs. They read complicated literature and have concern for their fellow man. They even like to share. Tell your kids if someone approaches them with pamphlets about recycling, an invitation to a labor rally, or showing any doubts about the fairness of our system, then they should find a teacher or a policeman immediately. Do yourself a favor. Take both hands off the wheel and touch the steering. Do you feel the power? Ah, oh, yes, friend. There's a lot of evil in the world, but there is also evil. And I have been sent to shine a light on all degenerates, philanderers, liberals, and other evildoers, and expose them for what they really are. Don't waste your money on unnecessary and corrupting material possessions. Give it to me. There's only one thing that will save you. A highly fortified structure in the shape of the most powerful thing on the planet, me. Degenerates will ruin this great city. In my wonderful book, I tell of the impending... Mm, no sign of Mercedes. Nuclear holocaust, plagues of flying rodents, the seas rising up and turning yellow. It is coming. It is written by me. But you can save yourself. Contribute to the Pastor Richard Salvation Statue Fund. Pick up your telephone. Call now. 1-866-9-SAVE-ME. Hi, and welcome back. If you're just joining us, you're listening to KChat, by City's only commercial talk station, the place where the stars shine in conversation with you and me. I'm Amy Schechenhausen. My next guest is a rising star in the world of North mythology. He's appeared in several best-selling infomercials and travels the globe speaking at corporate training camps. His books and audio cassettes are sold around the world. <laughs> he is Valhalla's finest deity and motivational speaker, Thor. Hi. Hello, Amy. I'm happy to be here. It's been a long journey. Uh, yeah. Now, I don't know much about you. I mean, I read Beowulf. Well, I didn't, but I read the cover. But, like, you're a Viking, right? Did the tunic and goatskin boots give you a clue, maybe? I am a Viking, and a Viking that will not only help you unleash the Furies, but unleash yourself. It's time for Kaufman's Cab's guardian angel to eat some fender confused. Well, I'm a lot confused. I was taught in school that Vikings were bloodthirsty and violent. An elder once told me, you must unlearn what you have learned. Of course, then he died of the green plague. There are some Vikings that are a bloodthirsty lot, yes, but no more than anyone else, really. We're a nomadic people, Amy. We have cold fire in our souls. He had that fire too, Amy. You've just lost it since you've gotten television. Now, that being said, I'll answer your question. We are mostly non-violent. Though many of the Vikings travel to Scotland, and mind you, anyone who goes there will turn bloodthirsty. You can't understand what the lot are saying. It's all a four, reckless, a boot, diné. It's enough to make you want to burn a village to the ground. That's why, in my cassette series, I talked about the importance of communication. You see, Amy, men and women live in different worlds. We use different words. A group of men talk about what they've killed, how to start a fire, who has the best long boat. Women want to talk about in battle are important, but we admire poetry as well, as long as it's poems about...